All right, well, we continue our weather work series now and here in central Georgia, you know, some days feel much hotter while other days feel cooler than what the actual air temperature is. As meteorologists, we use the heat index and the wind chill to describe those days. Well, a viewer in Perry, Roy Sabine, he sent us in a question on how we determined the wind chill and the heat index or the feels like temperatures in the summer and winter months. Meteorologist Taylor Stephenson describes how your weather works. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson here to explain to you how your weather works. Feels like temperatures are determined by a few different atmospheric factors. First, let's talk about heat indices, which you usually calculate on hot days. The two factors needed to determine the heat index for the day are the actual temperature and the relative humidity. Relative humidity relates to the amount of moisture in the air. To counteract the heat, your body begins to sweat. The water released onto your skin starts an evaporation process in order to keep you cool. If the air is holding too much moisture already, the sweating evaporation process cannot work as efficiently. Thus, you feel hotter on really hot and humid days. On cold days, we can calculate the wind chill. Wind chill takes the air temperatures and the speed of the winds five feet above the ground into account. The body's natural response to cold temperatures is to produce goosebumps. The goosebumps make your hair stand up and try to limit how much heat your body loses. When the air temperature is cold and the wind speed is high, the goosebumps and hairs cannot trap as much heat. So your body feels colder on cold, windy days. These are the ways that meteorologists determine the feels like temperatures. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson, and that's how your weather works. Very, very cool. All right, everyone. Well, if you have any questions just like Roy did on how your weather works, go ahead and post a comment on the weather works post on our Facebook page, or you can also send us an email to news at 13 WMAZ.com with your question. And it just might be our next weather works question. We'll be right back.